Today I'd like to talk about the stubborn dog. Um, everybody has experienced this or thought they have or uh, something where a dog just was acting stubborn and wouldn't do what you wanted to do. Well, the other day I was actually working with my dogs and I came across a situation with Oscar. Oscar, in the past, would do the uh, down or lay command like no problem, perfect. He would do it every time. Went out back, we were doing it, and he wouldn't do it. He'd do it maybe one time, but he was hesitant, and then after that he wouldn't do it at all. Uh, and you can see what occurred uh, after that. From there, uh, I kind of looked around as in the old way, uh, my old style, I had a, a, three, a three times rule. Um, that was the way I used to train. It was one way that I was brought up on how to train dogs back in the day. Um, some people that have trained with me here in Garden City uh, will attest to that. I said the rule of three. The dog has three chances to do what you want it to do. So the first time you tell it, you say no, and then you would uh, give, give them the second chance. And then the third time, you make them do it. Well, I've changed my philosophy on training since then. Um, a lot of trainers have pushed more towards a uh, pro-animal uh, choice kind of mindset. Uh, the idea is that you give the animal a choice to do something all the time, but on occasion, uh, when it's not detrimental, you kind of give the animal a choice. Um, for me, having Oscar lay wasn't necessary. And some might take that as to him being stubborn, but instead I decided to look at it from a different angle though. Why wouldn't he lay down? Why wouldn't he go down to the ground? Nope. So instead I started out analyzing the area and watching his behaviors. Uh, at times he would even give a lot of different behaviors because he does want to make me happy. He just didn't want to do that one thing. Turns out, well, there was a lot of tumbleweed in my yard the year before, so there's a lot of little twigs and sticks that stick out just so far, uh, and they're pretty uncomfortable. So my guess, this is an assumption because that really wasn't in his head, but from my analysis, he just didn't like doing it because he didn't want to flatten out on the ground and get hit in the chest by one of those sticks. That's all it was. Um, nine times out of ten, when people tell me an animal's being stubborn, there's one of two things happening. There's some reason that the animal doesn't like to do it. And it could be something just out of comfort. Uh, and two, uh, usually it's just a communication breakdown. For example, uh, you think the dog is cueing in on the word sit, but instead the dog is cueing in on something else, maybe a gesture, uh, such as your head movements, or uh, perhaps it's cueing in on, maybe you're training uh, multiple animals at once, uh, it's queuing in not on you, but what the other animals are doing, uh, all, which is also a reason, one of the many reasons why to, when you're actually doing the training sessions, you should try to do it with just the one animal uh, when possible. Uh, but as it turns out, Oscar came inside, started doing the behaviors, and Oscar did phenomenal. He does it repeatedly, which kind of adds to my idea it just wasn't comfortable when we were outside with the twigs and the sticks to slam it because you'll see he also slams his body down on the Lay. ground. Okay, Oscar. Lay. Good boy. Sit. Let's show this again. Show that you do like lay. Oscar. Lay. Good boy. Lay. Overall, the moral of the story is don't assume a dog is being stubborn. Look around, pay attention to them, pay attention to yourselves, and also pay attention to the environment. Oftentimes there is a reason why. Lay. Oh. Okay. Oscar, lay. Nope. Mary, you push the chairs aside. It's his turn to train. <laughs>